Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. It's quite a nice bright and sunny morning this morning. Um, I've got a really fun day and evening planned so I thought I would vlog. I was just kind of getting ready for the day. Haven't really done my hair yet but put on a little bit of makeup. I feel like my bedroom looks so weird because we've got these white bed sheets on and I think white looks really weird with this wall colour. We're trying to figure out like the best duvet cover to have. We've tried dark grey, not really sure if that works. If anyone has any suggestions on what goes with it's kind of like pink paint, let me know. I'm gonna head downstairs to have some breakfast. I know that I've got a very exciting delivery downstairs because it arrived this morning. Rich let, Rich like bought it in before he went to work. So I'm gonna take you guys downstairs and show you what has arrived. Okay. Oh my God, it's massive. Look what's here. Prime wardrobe. Okay, let me take this inside and show you guys and tell you what it's all about. Oh my god, it's so heavy. Let me squeeze in. Okay, so before I get started on today's vlog and show you the rest of the day and the evening, like I said, I am doing many things and I'm seeing Anna later, which I'm really excited about. This video is actually sponsored by Amazon Fashion and Prime Wardrobe, which I'm over the moon about because I have been an Amazon Prime member. Actually, I should have looked up how long. I reckon like a few years, if it's been around for that long. Me and Rich are obsessed with Amazon Prime. I literally used it yesterday to get this camera here today because I had to buy a new camera. Anyway, I love Amazon Prime. So when they got in touch and spoke to me about Prime Wardrobe, which is part of Amazon Fashion, I was really interested to hear and learn more about it. So they explained to me what the service is, told me that I could test it out, and I think it's something that you guys are really gonna be interested in. So I wanted to share it with you guys today in this video. So Prime Wardrobe is a brand new service for Amazon Prime members like myself, and I'm sure lots of you guys are Amazon Prime members. It allows you to order between three to eight items across clothes, shoes, and accessories with no upfront charge. It's so amazing. So you can order your items. They'll come between one and two days. Mine came, mine, I think I ordered mine at night, so it came like two days later, but I think if you order in the morning, it comes the next day. And then you basically have seven days to try your items before you have to decide whether you wanna pay for them or not. So you don't pay for those whole first seven days. It's so amazing. I think it's really great if you're shopping for kids. I've told my sisters about it. I think it's really great if you want to try something a bit new that's kind of out of your comfort zone and it's quite risky. I think it's perfect if you don't really know what size you are, which is definitely me at the moment. And it just gives you that like seven days to think about things to try it on and you can send it back and you don't have to pay. And then after the seven days where you don't pay, you can then benefit from an extended 30 days where you can decide to send things back to Amazon Fashion. Also, apparently the returns system is really easy, which is something that is so important to me. It comes in a resealable bag with like a prepaid label from Royal Mail. So you don't have to pay anything extra. It's totally free shipping and free returns, which is something that's so important to me. I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna show you guys the items that I picked up and like what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna send back. And I'm so happy about the free returns things because I hate when it's like a massive faff to return items. So let me show you what I got from Amazon Prime Wardrobe. I, as I said, I'm just so excited to try out this new, oh, really good bag. So it's got this like, basically I'm just opening it at the top and then anything I don't want, I can just put back in the bag. So let's show you what I got. The first things which I've wanted for so long, you guys are going to tell me off because I'm such a trainer addict, but black vans. I've got, get off me, I've got a pair of navy blue van trainers and I love them. And I, at the time I got blue because everyone got black and I do love them, but the amount of times I just wish I had a black pair because they go with everything. So I got some vans. With shoe sizes especially, like I am always in between sizes and I never know. So this is perfect for me because if they don't fit, obviously I can just send them back and I won't have to pay. So this is what they look like. <gasps> oh, they smell like new shoes. So black vans. These ones have like a slightly velvety front actually, which is cool. I'm gonna try them on, see if they fit. I will let you know if they don't, I can send them back. Okay, the next thing is this jumper. I actually saw this on the homepage. It was part of their like new in edit, which I really liked browsing up it actually. Um, it's from New Look, which actually probably isn't a brand that I would have necessarily checked normally, but it was so easy to browse on here. Ooh, really nice fabric actually as well. I just loved the colors. 
It's yellow at the top, it's a jumper, obviously, and then it's stripy at the bottom. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be too short for me or not. I don't really know how to dress myself at the moment, but I will try it on and report back. I'll show you that one on, so I'm gonna keep the packaging just in case. Oh, welly socks. These are from Jules. I really needed some new welly socks. <gasps> to go with my new wellies. I ordered some new wellies. I know I'm like a city girl and I don't go in like muddy countryside often, but I love these wellies. Maybe I'll show you the wellies first. Now it's that time of year and we are going for more walks and I don't like ruining my lovely, nice new trainers. I thought these were perfect because the wellies that I have are all the really, really long ones and they're so heavy. So I really wanted to try one of the shorter pairs. So these are from Hunter. Hunter wellies. Oh yes, this is exactly what I wanted. So these are the shorter pair of wellies. Do people call them wellies everywhere? I feel like that might just be like an English word. It's short for like Wellington boots. But these are the hunters and they're the shorter ones. So I feel like these are more for like city folk who just go walking in like Hampstead Heath, basically. These are perfect. I find the long ones so hard to get on and off. So I thought these would be perfect for autumn, winter this year. And then to go with those, because all of my welly socks are the long ones, I got some welly socks, some short ones. How cute is that packaging? Welly socks are vital because your feet will get cold. Wellies are not the warmest shoes. But if you put welly socks in, they work really well. Okay, so what size did I get that in? It's UK seven. See, that was one of those things where it's like a six or a seven. So I risked going up a size because of the welly socks. So we'll see if those fit. Just two more things, but this is one of those situations where I got two sizes and I'm gonna send one back, depending on which one fits. Um, this is a Calvin Klein little kind of, what are these called? Bralette crop top things. I'm actually wearing one now. I've had this one for years and it's gross and it needs to go. So I wanted to get a new one, but this is my like at home bra when I don't wanna wear like a wired bra. I just wanna be comfy, but then if you have slightly bigger boobs, you'll know that when you're not wearing a bra at all, you just feel like, I feel really like frumpy. So it's nice to have something, but these are really comfortable. So I got it in a medium and a large. I can already tell by looking at it that I think I'm gonna need the large. So I will send one back depending on which one I choose. So in the bag comes my prepaid label. So that is so easy. I can just put it all back in, stick the label on, drop your bag at your most convenient Royal Mail location. Cool, I've got one up the road. I've got like a news agent that's also got like a Royal Mail thing in it. Perfect, okay. Let me try the shoes on and the jumper and I'll show you. I haven't done the laces up properly, but yes, the vans fit perfectly and I love them. They're so cool. Oh, I'm so happy with the black. Why did I not get these sooner? I'm gonna wear them to death. Sorry, the light is so yellow in this hallway. I actually really like this jumper. I'm wearing it with tracksuit bottoms, so excuse that. But yeah, I really, I just love the yellow with the black and white stripe. I think the contrast is really nice. It is a little bit on the shorter side, but if I'm wearing kind of high-waisted jeans underneath, I think that will look really nice, it's not like too tight, it's not too baggy. I just love the color combination. I have nothing else like this in my wardrobe. So this is also a yes. This is turning out terribly because I'm actually gonna end up keeping everything. I'm just testing out the wellies. They definitely fit. They're slightly on the bigger side, but I think if I went for the six, they would be too tight. Um, I am, I'm wearing thin socks, but then I'm also wearing the welly socks. They're not like falling off. So I think I'm gonna keep them because I really like the shorter style. I mean, not with what I'm wearing, but they're, they're much lighter and I feel like they'd be so much easier to take on and off. Happy with those, happy with the welly socks, which I've tucked in, but you can also, if you want, you can like tuck them on the outside. I see people do that sometimes. Wellies for the win, very practical choice I've got there. I think I'm gonna keep the large bralette. Um, excited to have a new one of these. So as always, check the description box for more info if you're interested in Amazon Prime wardrobe. I think it's such a good idea for a service. I feel like it kind of gives more power to the consumer. So I'm gonna get ready now for the rest of the day and bring you guys along me as I vlog what I get up to today. I've done my hair, but it's a little bit greasy, but um, I came up with the genius idea yesterday of booking me and Anna in for a wash and blow, blow, blow dry, sounds Australian 
a wash and blow dry this afternoon because we had this like awkward gap and I've got like an early appointment tomorrow morning so I knew I'd want clean hair and I wouldn't really have time tonight because I'm going out so I was like how do you feel about going to Hershison's for a wash and blow dry and she was like yes genius it's okay my hair's a little bit greasy I kind of need it to last for the things that we're doing before then but um one of them's a podcast so that's all right the other one is filming but hopefully it won't be too close up I put on quite a lot of makeup hoping that it will last trying to cover up these horrendous painful spots on my chin Whew, just turned the corner and it's really sunny um the first thing we're doing today is i'm just going to meet anna and we're going to go to the smashbox studio where we did our event quite recently and we're doing some filming for them it's not quite an instagram live but it's like we're filming it and then they're putting it up i think on the 11th of november but i'm sure we're going to share it on our instagram stories or something so we're going to be doing some filming with them very out of breath i am I'm walking quite fast and I've got popcorn. Okay, I'm a little bit late, so I really should just go. I'm with Anna. We're running a little bit late because she was recording with Emma Gardens for her podcast. Oh my god. I can't believe you're doing two podcasts today. That's a lot of talking. I am, I'm so bored of my, like, own voice. By the end of it, I'm going to be like, can, can the host just talk? So <laughs> tell, tell us how you got started. You'll be like, oh, that's a <laughs> bloody blog in 2010. Um, no, it was, it was so fun. Emma is just. Oh, she's so nice. You could talk really for hours. Like, oh, we're going to do a part two. That was too much. Oh my God. That's too much. I know, I love recording with Emma as well. Ooh, that smelled good. I know, it smelled like garlic pizza. Oh. Okay, we're on our way. Apparently you've got Detox Kitchen for lunch when we get there. Yes. Um, let's oh. do this. I don't really know what to expect, but it'll be fine. I haven't been filming any of our Smashbox stuff because we've been busy doing Instagram stories and photos, but I'm just having a little bit of Detox Kitchen for lunch, which is delicious. And I think... We've kind of finished, I'm not sure. Um, I'm looking very glowy because I've been spraying primer all over me. Just been going through my PO box and now we have to go record a podcast. Oh God, I've got 24 messages from you and I've just found them all. Oh, I don't know what they say. We're now at a fancy global radio station. We're recording a podcast with Nicola Bon. Sorry, I'm vlogging. <laughs> Hi. I'll put the link to the podcast, guys, if it's up when you're watching this. We're sound testing. It's Ooh. just so in my ear. Yeah, it's weird to hear yourself so in your ear. Yeah, last time I did it without. Oh, oh yeah. Is that better? You're so professional. You see, you got a. Yeah, you're just. Enjoying your hair wash? I just had the head massage. <laughs> My hair is done, I'll tell you about it in a minute. But I've just come into the bathroom in Hershison's. I've never been into the toilet before. How amazing is it? This flamingo wallpaper, unreal. Okay, hair done. And I had Ingrid again. I didn't even ask for her, but I had the same lady I had last time and she's so good with curly hair. If you need like a good curly hair blow dry, she's amazing. She just knows how to deal with my hair. And look, it looks like my hair. Like this is how I style it. That never happens. She did um, really good actually. She's so good. She just knows. She knows to like do the front bits first and she gets it. Um, but she did tell me that she thinks I should wear my hair curly. And then we had our whole discussion about it. <laughs> um, Anna's hair's looking nice as well. It's good. We both, look, we both look like ourselves, which is a good sign. Yeah, the guy I'd had before as well. So yeah, I can't remember his name. I'm terrible with names. I really. <laughs> that should be my New Year's resolution for next year. Um, but he was super good. He got it. I was just like, kind of like yours, like messy. And he was like, yeah. Yeah. Get it. <laughs> he did have curly hair. Yeah, he did. He looked great. Okay, now we're heading to East London. We are going to Catherine's book launch. Um, her book is called Why Social Media. Have you met Catherine before? By yes. The way? Oh yeah, I haven't. Have you? No, we just That's spoke weird. on the phone. That's weird. I think yeah. maybe only once or twice. Sorry, I butted in there. Carry no, it's alright. What's her book called? Why, why, social, why media? social Media is Ruining Ruin. Your Life by Catherine Ormerod. There you I go. I can't wait to meet her. Um, so we're going to pop in there. It's like the other side of London, but it'll be really nice. So, so I think it's with Soho Home. I love Soho Home. <laughs> we're at Soho Home in Barber and Parlour. We just had a yummy dinner in Soho House. I couldn't vlog it. Anna had bolognese. Being so much food. <laughs> Very chips and salad, which is always a weird thing. Right, we're going upstairs. It's very quiet, I hope we're in the right place. Go, go see Catherine. Oh, so home, I love Soho home. We've just heard that there's 20% off tonight, so we're looking around like, oh my god, what can we spend our money on? Everything's so nice. Look, this is Catherine's book. Really cute little launch party going on up here. This is in um, the Barber and Parlour, it's like a pop-up. letters to everyone. Oh, that one's for Freddie. 
Oh my god! Is there one for me? Is there one for me? Look, I found my note. It says, thank you so much for giving up your time to speak to me for this book and for being here this evening. Truly, I'm so grateful because I'm in the book. Um, I did a little phone interview with Catherine. So if you read the book, you'll see my bit in there. Also, dresses that have sequins are really good for anxiety. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Welcome home. Hi. Well, I just got home, not you. Look what I bought. I love, I love that you're, you're actually happy about this. Look, won't they look good with our new sofa? We're getting a new sofa, guys, from Loaf, and it's going to be navy blue to match the walls. And the yellow cushions are going to go so well. Oh god, it smells like cooking in here and it's very hot. I need to go get into my pyjamas. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Literally just walked into the house. Oh wait, can you show me my banana bread? <laughs> Rich wants me to show you his banana bread. Now we don't have a loaf tin. Yeah. So he made it in a really shallow baking tray thing. So it looks like the So it doesn't look like banana bread. But he's very impressed with himself that he look made that. it. Shiny top. Good bake. <laughs> oh my god. And Who are you? Well. well done. I'm going to bed. No, I'm not going to bed. I'm going to take my coat off. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.